Hi, I'm the spicy jokester, the pun king, Derek. And I'm everyone's first experience with black licorice, Kevin. And we are at Disneyland today, and we're here for Halloween time. So join time. us as we go Beyond, Beyond the, the Turnstile. So we are here, it is, what week is that? Sep oh, it's September 14th. Because yesterday was Friday the 13th. That's right. Uh, and we are going to check out all the different Halloween offerings today. And we came in for Rope Drop, which I assumed would be busier. Uh, but we also, we don't do this. We don't do this. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. The whole reason that we did this though is we're hoping to get uh, Haunted Mansion holiday passes. We'll see if that happens. Um, and yeah, we're just going to have a really great day, but let's start our day off by checking out all the Main Street decor. Cool. So everything looks so cute, but Kevin pointed out this up look, here. If you look up there, I can't zoom in, but if you look up there, there there's a little silly pumpkin. So sometimes, most of the pumpkins just look like, you know, like normal pumpkins. Every once in a while, there's like a cool little fun pumpkin. And so there's a silly right there that I've never noticed in the years I've been coming to Disney and Halloween. So cool. I don't know how often they update these. Maybe this has always been here, but it could be new. Yeah, new to me. So yeah, new. new to us, which is the same as being new, you know. To us. It's so early. <laughs> Obsessed with this Elvis pumpkin. A classic. Look at her. She's in drag. I like it. Just in time for Halloween, it's the decapitated head of Tigger. Nice. Kevin pointed out this one. Angry. Angry pumpkin. Kind of feeling like that, early. Why is Indiana Jones a 20 hundred minute wait? Why is it so early? It's only eight o'clock. But also like nothing's open. I mean, we're not usually here before the stores open. That's crazy. That's Florida behavior. That's Florida, that's on Florida. Everyone's favorite Peepaw and Mama stuff. All right, so we paused for a second. We were able to get virtual queue for Haunted Mansion. We're group 113, so we don't really know how long that's gonna take. But um, we've got a mobile order for some food coming up. So we're gonna head over and do Buzz Lightyear, which is like the perfect way to start a day. So come with us. So Derek mentioned we got a virtual queue for the Haunted Mansion. And right now, because it's under refurb, the queue is under refurb, and it's Haunted Mansion holiday, and it's very popular, and everything else over there is closed all the time. They're doing virtual queue only. So it's very easy, and I'll show you here in the app. It's gonna look a little weird because we already have it, but you just go into the app, into your Disneyland app, you go to virtual queue, it'll show up as Haunted Mansion, just like remember when Rise of the Resistance was on virtual queue, and all the Star Wars stuff was on virtual queue, and if you've done virtual queue for World of Wonder, same thing. It'll pop up, it'll give you a boarding time, or it'll give you a boarding group, and then when it's your time, you'll go. What are you pulling me for? World of Wonder, the, the gay television network. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't wanna do this anymore. This ride needs a refurb. The, the, last the picture, so past few times, yeah. my gun has not really worked. <laughs> so additionally, camera didn't work. So um, there's no picture, but 
he had a four digit score. I had a five digit score. We're we're accustomed to being in the six digit range. You were accustomed to being in the six digit range. Yeah. Um, maybe time for a revert. Yeah, sure. Kevin has spotted new merch. New Coco merch. That's like it's Loteria. It is. That's it's very so cute. Fun. Very cute. All right, we've toured the stars. Um, they are still playing Space Whales. They are, I was just saying, there's supposed to be what, like a million combinations yeah. of things you can get. And I have gotten the same tour the last like six times I've ridden Star Wars. I think right now they're pushing that one. Yeah, they want people to, yeah. Because it's new. Um, I get it. But. I mean, the hologram was different. So that was less, yeah, we got, An we got Andor. Yeah. Um, it was very handsome. Very handsome. He said he needed our help. <laughs> I, I can fix him. I can fix him. <laughs> All right, let's go to Jolly Hall today. Okay. All right, so now that we're at Jolly Holiday, we're trying our first of our seasonal treats. This is the pear blackberry cheesecake crostata. Okay, whoa. Whoa, she was close. Um, so for those who don't know, crostatas are like little pies, but they're folded over and open on the top. Um, this is supposed to have a cheesecake filling and then blackberry and pear inside. Um, it looks really good. I did think it would be warm and it's not, but um, let's see. Uh, so it's, I'm mostly getting cheesecake from the flavor. Um, the pears are nice, but they taste a little bit more like apples. So I don't know, like I was hoping for more pear flavor, but pear is like hard to show up. Um, I don't really taste the blackberry. I would say that this is good, but not great. You don't have to come and get this, but it is like a nice like way to start the morning. Um, so if you're just looking for something like as a quick bite before you start your day in the park, this is a, not a bad way to start, but I'm looking forward to other things we're going to have at Jolly Holiday later in the day. We're going to do Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. Short wave, and we never do it anymore, even though it's one of our favorites in track. My former place of employment. Really, really Shout good. Shout out to Abby with an E. Yes. Spelled H E L P M E. Yes. It was good. so good. If you didn't think she was good based on this video, her name was irrelevant. Yeah. 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 I wrote that joke. I didn't. You she didn't. said it. So, anyway, let's go on Indiana Jones. Come on. 
Look not into the eyes of the eyebrow. That would be dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh, my friends, your moment is drawing near. All right, we didn't film on that one because I don't trust myself not to drop the camera. It's real bumpy. It's bumpy than it used to be, I think. It is. Or it I'm is. Older. Or both. Or both. Two things can be true. Something did occur to me, though. We have been on how many attractions today? One, two, three, four. As of right now. Four. It, you know what I appreciate about Disney? We've been on four attractions today, and all of them had Halloween overlays. What? Yeah, all the attractions at Halloween overlays. Yeah, and Buzz Lightyear, Spooky Aliens, okay? And then um, on Star Tours, a bunch of people were dressed up like um, Star Wars characters on that one for Halloween, which I thought was really fun. And then, what else did we go on? Jungle Cruise, they put a python in it. Like there was like snakes and like bugs and stuff. And then um, in Indy, there were a bunch of skeletons. Which I thought was fun. I love skeletons. I think skeletons are like, you know, spooky, scary. It's super cool. What did you what what was what did you like most about the overlays? They're not overlays, friends. They're, don't listen to him. There is going to be some person who thinks there are Halloween overlays on the Jungle Cruise, and they're going to say, "I saw these guys talk about it," and then they're going to hate us. There was a hello. Can I just see what what she talk about? A few moments later. My favorite part of the Halloween overlay um, was the guy dressed up like Indiana Jones in the queue of Indiana Jones. That was cool. Yeah, that, that was, was cool. All right, we're gonna go do pirates now, where people will be dressed up like pirates for Halloween. Yo ho! What you call me? That was a great attraction. Um, I, you know what? You cannot tell me that it wasn't Halloween themed because we saw ghosts. There was a curse. Um, we saw skeletons. Um, and there was a Mickey Mouse ghost hidden in it. Your backpack. He's talking about his backpack. Which was true. It is a Mickey Mouse ghost. You heard it. You heard it. We're going to get snacks now. from Royal Veranda. They were supposed to have fritters too, but they, they don't seem to be selling them today for whatever reason. Um, this is Joffrey's creme, Pumpkin Creme Brulee cold brew, which um, the coffee itself has the flavor in it. Um, we used to get this in Florida and I loved it. I was like obsessed. Um, and then there's a whipped cream on top, which I think is maybe like a cheesecake whipped cream possibly. And then there's toffee and stuff. So um, I'm really excited to try this. Um, I could use a little pep in my stomach. 
Like many Disney coffees, uh, it's very sweet. Um, when you get this in Florida, you can get it without like so much syrup and you can just add in like milk or whatever and it still has a pumpkin flavor. This is definitely got syrups in it. It's good. For me, it's a little too sweet. But um, I'm still gonna drink it. I'm still gonna enjoy it. And I'm excited to hear what you think about these green apple caramel menus. I, I just moved it over here and I'm covered in powdered sugar. Already, that's but the way I to do it. But I do love an artificial fruit flavoring. We got these with the mint julep. They are green apple sugar, or green apple powdered sugar with some caramel drippies. So you know what, wait, hold on, ah, shoot. It's all right, we'll do it backwards. Oh, this is thick. Woo. Oh my God. Look at that, look at oh that cheese Oh my bowl. God, oh my God. Right. Is it still a cheese bowl? It's not cheese bowl. We grew up in the 90s. Remember those um, lollipops? Yes. They were apple flavored and covered in caramel that like killed your teeth? Yes. That's what they say like. I mean, they still sell those today. Yeah, but I don't know. Kids, I mean, kids can get street legal cocaine. You know? <laughs> I don't know if they need those things. Um, but the venue by itself is what I want to try first. Mm. That's a dangerously good. Yeah. I'm really not one for sweet pastry. But I would eat a tub of this green apple powdered sugar. <laughs> I would pixie stick it, you know? Just like dip my finger in there and get going. Um, so I think it is potentially better with the caramel, but it's not bad on top. It occurs to me, we haven't done ratings. What, what would you oh. rate this on? Oh, I think this is an e-ticket. E-ticket? Wow. Yeah, I think this is really, really good. Um, green apple is a great flavor. Particularly for you who does not like pumpkin. Right. Fall is the worst time of year for me. I don't like pumpkin. I don't like the spices. I don't like hot fruit. Okay, Grandpa. But I do, in my day, but I do like this. A thing I thought about later, in the sort of genesis of flavored powdered sugared beignets, right? We've had strawberry. I think there's been a great blackberry um this is this is the best flavored one i think better than watermelon better than watermelon if i am 100 honest and i'm a watermelon stan um so i think yeah i think in terms of like flavored powdered sugars at disney green apple's the best i just wanted to add that and i'm editing the video so i can do what i want all right now that we've got a little snack we have a little bit of time before our next lightning lane, so let's go look at some merch. We are in the... I don't know what this shop is called anymore. I don't know either. It's the one called the Nightmare Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but we found these cute little mugs. It's a Pumpkin King on them. There are a lot of people in here. <laughs> look at... <laughs> There's also some I other merch. There's some I, other merch. We gotta, oh my god, we got we got to get out of here. We got to. So Kevin knows that I hate unitaskers in the kitchen, but exceptions could be made. How much is that? Thirty-five dollars. An actually reasonably priced piece of. Yeah, kitchen. it's really not that bad. <laughs> the issue with this store at this time of year is that they do a meet and greet. With Jack and Sally. And so it's, it gets, it, which is very intense. It's very intense. Well, because people are like, I don't want to meet Jack and Sally, but I want to see them. Yeah. And you can you can sort of see them through this window sometimes. Not right now. Um, but anyway, I'm sure all this merch is somewhere else. We'll show it later. In the meantime, I want to live. Here we've got some Sandy Claws ears. These look new for this year. This one is, oh my gosh, where's the price? Okay, well, there's no price. Uh, I'll see if I can find a different one that has a price on it, but. Right, it's not on here, not on the back. All right, well, sorry friends, I can't tell you how much that one is. New sweater here, there's a little backpack with, looks like, Characters playing in the snow from Halloween Town. 
You know what we need is a Halloween Town collection, like for real. There's a fan. It says love till the end. Again, it's, it's a little. We got married in the Paris Catacombs vibes. You know what I mean? Have you guys seen that TikTok? It's crazy. Um, these are cute little shirts for Halloween that say my boo. I love these. Do you think I could convince Kevin to wear one of these? Tell Kevin in the comments that he should let me put him in Halloween merchandise. He probably would do it anyway. He loves me a lot. Weirdo. So this is this year's Halloween shirt. I like it better than last year's. Last year's was orange. Um, and I like that it's sort of a similar candy cane print with the hat, but black. Because, you know, orange is my favorite color, but flattering? I don't know if I would characterize it as such. There's a cute little one here with uh, Daisy and Minnie in front of the moon that says ghouls just want to have fun. And we got these mugs. $24.99. If I bring home a mug, Kevin will divorce me. I mean, TikTok. So here we've got kind of an overview of this collection, which has this really cool sweater. I love this sweater for um, women. And then there is a shirt, new hat, very adorable, very adorable. We've got some dog stuff here. Now I think this is mostly all things that have been around you. Oh, and cat stuff too. Um, things that have been around year round for the most part. This Haunted Mansion dog toy. Um, I think we've talked about this before, but if you're new to the channel, we have a little English bulldog named Leota. And I think we have a picture of her in, not this exact one, it was a different one, it was a harness, uh, of her in a Haunted Mansion costume. Maybe we can share that here. There it is. Or it's not, because we couldn't find it. Um, yeah, this all looks similar. Like, this has been here before. So let's dive in to the big section. So here we have a rechargeable poison apple for $29.99. Um, it does come with the USB-C cord, so you can recharge this. We've got my new bubble ones, necklaces. This year, I think there's like a whole collection of Halloween stitch stuff. Um, this is like a, a pretty cool blow mold. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest stitch person, but I know many, many, many people love stitch, particularly lesbians for reasons I can't quite put my finger on, but you know, Stitch lesbians, if you're there in the comments, tell me why you love Stitch. I don't understand it. Um, there's a Mickey pumpkin Halloween tote for $24.99 each. Um, and you can buy that with a purchase or it's $40. Uh, oh, so with a purchase of $40. Very cool. Here is one of this year's Halloween lounge flies. Oh, look, the little windows open. That's so cute. I wonder what the lighting looks like. It's time for our next lightning lane. Big thunder. Always. Always a fun attraction. Oh, Always. Partner. I gotta say, I love the Halloween overlay. I did. There were bats. There I was have to a, go home with this. I just want all of you to know. There were bats. There was a skeleton. Where was there a skeleton? It's a big uh, dinosaur. Uh, there, it's at the very end. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, we're still waiting for our haunted mansion group to come. Oh, up. where are we? We are. Not loading. They were not boarding when we got here this morning, so... They are currently up to group 28, and we are group 113, so... I think we got a little bit of time. It, yeah, maybe all the time, actually. Let's go do something else. Okay. All right, well, we are back at Jolly Holiday um, to have a little 
I guess snack, I guess lunch. Lunch. Yeah, somewhere between the two because we're sharing things. But um, let's get into it. All right, so this is the bulgogi. It's bulgogi beef, onions. There you go. Look at this. Uh, look at this. Uh, and it comes with a like a like, harvest corn. Like a corn, a corn chowder. So do the sandwich by itself. Mm. It's the holly jolly day. The only holiday we'll go. Yeah. 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 Do you like it better than the birria or the grilled cheese? Mm. No, I think the grilled cheese is a little better. What? Oh, it's supposed to dunk in the car. Ooh. I may have overcommitted. You did. Hmm. Corn cutter is nice, very corny. <laughs> Just like me. Um, I think it enhances the bulgogi. The bulgogi needs something, right? The brightest kind of dry bulgogi. Once you get to the inside of this little tray. Um, I think this is good. I, I'm wouldn't come back for it, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, so it's probably like a, a C plus or D minus ticket for me. Sure. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad we have it. I'm not mad. Nice. All right, so I have got the Mickey pumpkin macaron. I believe it's pumpkin cheesecake filling inside. Um, I do wish... This was maybe like black, um, because it's like a little faded, but it's sparkly. Maybe it was too scary. Too spooky. All right, let's just go for it. Just go for it, just do it. Chunk. Hmm. You know? It mostly tastes like macaron. Um, you might even like this, Kevin. It doesn't really have pumpkin flavor, which for some might be a good thing. For me, I think I was hoping for like a little more pumpkin. Yeah, like a, little, a little bit of that kick to it, a little bit of cinnamon, spices. This is fine. Um, it's obviously extremely cute, so it's got that going for it. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this is a C ticket. Um, mm. I think there are better treats in the park. I would, you know, I would rather have a churro than this. Oh, um, which is strong words. <laughs> it's not that it's bad. It's just like, you know, caramel apple churro or those beignets we had earlier are much more interesting. Um, this is pretty. Pretty standard, pretty mid. Right, after a few more bites, we discovered that the pumpkin is here in the middle. Um, and it does have a pretty strong pumpkin flavor. For me, this would bump it up to being a B ticket. No, up. For, yeah, up. It's a D. A D, that's right. B is bad. I was thinking about grades, like a B is better than a C, but you're right. I would say this is a D ticket now. Um, so, yeah, four out of five, pretty, pretty, pretty solid. You just have to hunt for the pumpkin inside of it. Yeah, yeah. I still think the beignets are better. But, you know, like, this is still, this is, this is good. This is good. Worth, worth the time and the effort. Miss Tilly, Miss Tilly, wasn't that merchandise good? Why are you talking to me? This, you know what? She's rude. I want to speak to her manager. All right, so we headed back into Toontown to go to Cafe Daisy and try a variety of new things. So let's go through it. Um, first things first, this is the Caramel Apple Cold Brew. Um, you know it's an interesting sign when the people who are at the food station are like, hey, just mix it together before you drink it. <laughs> so I have, my expectations are like, 
in the basement. Um, and then we got the new Goody Goody Donuts, which are apple cider donuts for this season. So we're excited to try those. And uh, yeah, let's give it a try. As previously discussed, fall flavors and I, not friends. But I do like apple cider, so maybe these apple cider donuts will be okay. They're not soft, right? No. no. It's pretty good. It tastes very apple-y. But this, and the spice is like on the back end. Mm. Like the cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, whatever. Yeah. It's on the back end. Um, very fluffy. And I like them because they're not extremely hot, which is probably just a timing issue. Um, but I actually like that. Good bite, nice chomp. This is sort of a D ticket for me. A D ticket? Nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. I wish we didn't have to walk all the way back to Toontown to get them. Yeah. But I am very glad that there's this little dad nap area back here in the shade. They don't know I'm not a dad napping. I don't know, they're not taking a nap. <laughs> the influencer stirs his cup. His cup stirreth over. Are you ready? I'm waiting on oh, you. Oh, are you filming? Yeah. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. I tried to stir it. It is definitely more stirred than it was. It's definitely a lighter brown. Um, I mean, yum. I mean, this is probably good for you. Ooh, very demure, very cutesy. Huh. That's a different reaction than the other coffee. Honestly, this isn't as effective. I've, I've seen other people try this and they really didn't like it. Um, Call them I, out, name them. Uh, other influencers. Um, I think it's fine. I, I get why he said mix it because I have a feeling, when I came it was very dark here on the bottom. Very dark. And I think that was just unsweetened coffee. coffee um, which probably is a little assertive for most people. What I like about this is it seems like they didn't really add a lot of flavor syrups. There's like an apple caramel in here. The foam has a little bit of apple in it. But it's when you mix that into a coffee, it, it's balanced. It doesn't taste so... Like, the one earlier was so sweet. Um, because the coffee is already a little sweet with that one. Um, I still would say that this is a C ticket. But I do think... If you really like, it doesn't taste that caramel apple-y to me. It tastes more like coffee, but um, it's, worth, it's worth your time. It's worth your time. It's better than a lot of the coffees at Cafe Daisy. So yeah, check it out. Give it a shot. You might like it. Walked around a little bit, we went to space, just a casual little trip up to the stars, up to Batu. We made our way down, because um, we're getting pretty close to getting our callback number for Pony Mansion Holiday. So we stopped over here. Fingers crossed. Almost yeah, time. fingers crossed, okay. Uh, we stopped over at Harbor Galley uh, for a little treat. I could not interest Derek in a hot cup of clam chowder and a bread bowl. No. So we got this instead which is the Transylvanian trans Transylvanian Transfusion blood. There you go, you got it. Because it's look like a blood, blood. Blah. Um, I, do you remember what's in this? They didn't say, it just said with berries. Ah, well, berries are present. So <laughs> let's, maybe, let's maybe take a little sip of Rooney. Tastes like a, like a raspberry lemonade. Yeah, crystal light. Like a, like a crystal light, yeah. Um, <laughs> berries are real, which is good. It's fine. This is fine. It's only, if you don't want a soda, it's roughly the same price. Um, if you're a mocktail drinker. If you're a mocktail drinker and are waiting for your boarding group. Um, yeah, I, fine. D ticket. D, sure. D? C, C or D. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Well, C. C sounds better. All right. Sounds good. All right. It's finally time. Eight, oh, that's a blank screen. <laughs> eight hours after we signed up. So, 
if you're a group to, one but, but to be fair but to be fair they didn't start calling groups until like 9 30 and the park opened at eight it's true so if they had started right at eight o'clock it probably still would take eight hours but yeah we had a lot of fun and a lot of snacks on the way and but. they do they do open a second queue at noon we couldn't see if it opened or not because we already had one right but there is a second uh chance to do that just again just like rise of the resistance yep there's a there's a second queue chance that you have yep so we're excited though. We're gonna go. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Okay, I love Haunted Mansion Holiday. Yeah. It is amazing. It's, I look forward to it every year. Not the hugest fan of the virtual queue system, but I understand needs must. You know what? I liked it a lot, actually. I didn't feel like sometimes, you know, in regular queue, you come out of the elevator and it's already like six elevators deep in there. That's true. We didn't, like, it wasn't as jammed up. We did wait to, to go out of the elevator last. And we didn't have anybody behind us in our carriage. For a while. Yeah, which was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so I liked it from that perspective. But I also like this event because they always do something slightly differently. Right. So there were a couple of additional. Yeah, there's a there's a new um, Jack Skellington Jack in the Box in the yeah. attic. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Um, you know, and obviously the gingerbread house is always new. Um, well, I really like it. It's fun to see it. those things. It's fun yeah. To see those things. Yeah. You know, I think. Listen. Our birth years begin with one nine. And as much as we try to kid ourselves, I don't think we're full park, full day park people anymore. My knees are killing me. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. tired. We were going to stay and try and see the fireworks, but honestly, like, we have a really fulfilling day, I feel like. What was your favorite part? Um, you know, I think sort of the, the food trials. The food trials were fun. Mm, what's the favorite thing you ate today? Oh, my favorite thing I ate today was probably, honestly, those beignets. The, the green apple beignets were, they, they slapped. The beignets were, I, I agree. They were definitely like up at the top. I liked those apple cider donuts. Thought that those were really good. The beignets were better, but I, I, in the spirit of doing something different, I'm going to say the apple cider donuts. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, all in all, it was great. Had a, had a couple okay cold brews, um, but you know, I just think coffee at Disney is, it's a miss, fam. I don't know, coffee on Main Street, though? That's mm. Starbucks, so there's some... It's true. You know what you're getting. It's true. Uh, also, I think my favorite thing that we did today was Haunted Mansion Holiday. Sure. I, think, I really, really loved it. I looked forward to it the whole day. Um, you know, obviously, we saw many Halloween overlays today, but that was definitely... Um, it's not letting us go, are you? That was definitely one of them. That was the, I think that was the best overlay. <laughs> So that's going to be it for us on this Disney day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us in the comments what you like about Halloween time at Disneyland. What do you look forward to? Was there anything we tried that we or we didn't try that we should have? Um, and check us out on social media, uh, Instagram, TikTok at Beyond the Turnstile. And also give us your recommendations for DCA because we want to come back and do Halloween across the street. So tell us what you like over there so that we can yeah. make sure we don't miss out on the good stuff. We're not doing Oogie this year. Um, we did it last year. We had that video. It's great. And honestly, a lot of it carries over. So um, you could definitely watch that video if you're looking for tips and tricks. A lot of it's going to be kind of the same. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. I'm really tired. My Kevin. knees are really hurt and we have to get gas in the drive. Oh, it's oh. so far to the car. <laughs> I don't even remember where we parked. Pixar. Mm -hmm.